I still have audio. We, I think I fixed it finally. Alrighty, welcome guys. Um, tonight is a special night. And to the fact that we are going to be playing Super Mario Maker. So I have, I haven't played, uh, Mallory played the first thing, so the material is gone, um, but I have been looking for, um, the NWC stages, and I cannot find them. Uh, so if any of you guys have any idea where that would be, uh, let me know, that'd be great. Like I said, I've been looking for them and I can't find them. But, we're just gonna hop in here and hit difficulty, get a star ranking. We'll play something decent. Take it off old school. Let's go Mario 1 first. This guy's got a crap ton of comments. Oh, hang on one second before we get started. I accidentally closed my T-board. I can't tell if anybody's in here. Which there's not, but that way if somebody does show up, I can be notified. There we go. Alright. You play a course created by another player, you'll be notified every time you play a course. You turn the okay. Beep. Champ, just wrecked your state, bud. Approved. What? Comments can be added in my ass. I just updated the fucking game. 
Oh, nobody else can add. That's stupid. That's really stupid. Put a fucking limit on comments. Check this out. Evil Maniac. Now you want to see this? Oh, yeah. Well, somebody shelled up $300.
power next to it so we have to record it. For all the connections, Rob. And we'll uh, definitely be buying from your store very soon. Oh, Yeah. <laughs> 
I was trying to hit the uh, yeah. load button just to uh, oh, no. it, and it, I must have been too close to the wall that it pushed off. Super Meat Boys, give it a try, Packy. Yeah. Ah. Oh, no. I gotta slow down, I'm getting too excited. Yeah. Yeah. We got this. I put it on expert level. Yeah. 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 stage. Oh, no. 
immediately go up after it. Sharpie! Oh yeah, she's happening. You have to get above it. There's no way I can clear that below it. to get through that. I'm right. stage. Yeah, 
This is probably the only game in the world that's gonna have more deaths in it combined than Dark Souls did. Pixel perfect jump, but pretty damn close. Control! God damn this level! <laughs> Yeah. 
Too packy. No, you don't like the game yet, Casey? Shit! type person. I'm more of like the person where I want to play. Yeah, so the building stuff will release tomorrow. There's supposed to be more stuff coming out tomorrow. Yeah, this level is ridiculous. This is, uh, I put it on expert levels and... Still struggling. Yeah. Yeah. These struggles yeah. is real. Let me know what they're labeled under. I'd like to play yeah. them. Yeah. Um, I played four in. Uh, the fourth one is E3. And set a, I set the record that day for the fastest time completed. So I kind of want to play them again. Yeah. Yeah. I even beat uh, yeah. John Numbers' time in the finals. Yeah. Oh, 
Slow down there. What was the name of the stage, Casey? I was wondering if you knew what the name of the stage was that you were struggling with today. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Holy cow. All right. All capitals. N W C 15 <laughs> approved. You, look at this. You may also enjoy. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> no. Hey, I want to see. Do the do, don't press anything one. I want to see how that works. All right, hold on a second. <laughs> uh, 980 oh, people have cleared this stage. It has a 0.34% clear rate. Yeah, I did it. Uh, and no, I'm not redoing it. Sorry, guys. All right, which one do you want to see? The don't touch it. Physics for you. It's called the dumpling thing. Can you imagine trying to go through that stage without that <laughs> on your own? It's pretty impossible. Alrighty. Check this one. Out. These are pretty cool to watch. The fact that he took the time to physically point out where exactly everything needed to be. Vine climb, Casey, is what you said. Do you know if you can search by name or if I have to search by frickin' who made it? Yeah, see? I need to fix this search. What's the challenge? I'll do that later. You should have just searched that. Yeah, because it doesn't go off the name. It, go off? it goes off this course ID. 
So like, right there, it goes off that. Why in the Sam hell would Nintendo think that was a good idea? I'm curious what this is. We're gonna come back. So, total upload star courses. Play courses, play courses. We're gonna try this out. I'm not gonna be a bitch, I'm gonna go normal. No idea what this is, but we're gonna find out. Princess Peach is in trouble. So I'm wondering if this would take random people's stages and put them into a game for me. I think it's going to. And I think I have a hundred guys to clear these 16 random stages. Yeah, yeah, I got guys back and then some. Looks like you can save and quit and come back after you beat each stage. Oh, 
<laughs> Overshot it. Okay. Time. Mario Kart Maker. You get that. Where's the Mario Kart Amiibo come from? Cool, I like that course. Would I like to try to save my cart? Spring forward. <laughs> well, spring forward, I guess, guys. <laughs> you bought a new shirt case but didn't use your coupon. That's usually the way it goes. I forget I have a coupon in my pocket when I buy stuff. I'll check out Cannon Death Run next, Packy. Did Packy do the meat one? Did you finish the meat one, Packy? <laughs> Featured expert difficulty. Okay. I don't know why I'm alive or what the fuck just happened, but I'm not gonna bitch about it. Oh no! No, Packy didn't. I don't blame you. I got. I was frustrated. I almost quit. I was pretty close. <laughs> Now I said she would have never started it. No. <laughs> 
I didn't think I was going to make that prana. We're about halfway. Not too bad. The last two stages were getting a little more difficult. I was waiting for. I'd be that dick. I would randomly, I would randomly place that there somewhere. H two O. guys from each level. Nope. It caps at 100 and you can't earn more than 3 per level. But you could finish the whole thing out with 100 lives. Yeah. What in the same hell?
nice that it offers you a way out. <laughs> Is he playing the same stage as I am? So, hang on real quick, guys. Um, oh, there is no timer. They're not playing that. So, the new guy in chat, um, Sol Solus, I think I'm saying his name right. Um, so, Mallory actually met him today when she was doing the, the Amiibo thing this morning. And uh, so, he ha owns an online store called, what was it, NES Depot? NES Depot. NES Depot, and he sells online, uh, sells games online, and he's actually from Iowa. Uh, I think Cedar Rapids, Mallory told me, if I'm right. Uh, you can go ahead and correct me. Oh, he's from Wakan. Okay. Yeah, and thanks to him, I am now informed of like competitions that are going on there, uh, places to go buy these games. Uh, he's gonna. We're going to work together to try to get into Comic-Con, Cedar Rapids Comic-Con. Uh, I'm really excited for that. That's going to be cool. I did not know there was a Comic-Con in Cedar Rapids. Uh, but yeah, he's new to the chat. Check out his store. Uh, I checked it out today, and I'm definitely going to be buying things from him. He's also going to be at the World's Largest Garage Sale in October. Uh, I will definitely be uh, actually meeting him in person then, because <laughs> I've seen some of the stuff he's got, and... I uh, <laughs> I will definitely be buying from him for sure. Yeah, Mallory's like I wasn't sure if I was gonna tell you or not because you spend enough money the way it is. Yeah, your town of Waterloo is where the world's largest garage sale is. Yeah, I would be interested in seeing that. Uh, we're actually in the process of moving to a new house. And when I get my game room up, I plan on showing it on the stream and everything. But my collection's all back, uh, boxed away. Um, but yeah, I know there's a couple things I was looking to buy from you. Yeah, yeah, Mal had it on Facebook today. But yeah, he uh, sent out the uh, the stream on his personal Facebook page, the store's Facebook page, and another group that he knew of. Um, yeah, check it out. I went, I went through a store already. And I've already found like three or four games I want to buy. Yeah, and I am super jealous that Mallory said you knew somebody that found stadium events in the box for $80 in Iowa. That is flipping believable. Believable? Or unbelievable, sorry. <laughs> uh, if he ever wants to sell it and make like a quick thousand, you know, I'll, I'll buy it for a thousand dollars if he wants. <laughs> That's insane. The fact that something like that was so close to where I lived. Oh, you fucking 
control game. <laughs> That's one game I think I'm gonna save to the end of my collection. And if I do end up deciding to buy it, I don't think I'll actually buy the, uh, the North American version. I'll buy the PA PAL version and pick it up for 500 off eBay if I decide to do it. Because I just can't see buying a game that costs more than my house. I would love to have that game. Aww. Oh, I kicked it across. Yeah, if you if you ever come across across bubble babes, please let me know. I uh I would like to purchase that. Or bubble bath babes. That is one game I would like to have for my collection. Damn, Felix the cat? become my number one source for games. I was dealing with a guy in Waterloo, um, and he's still pretty good. He treats me pretty good in there, uh, in Cedar Falls. But uh, it'd be nice to deal with somebody local and things like that. Especially coming from another collector, that's gonna be great. This place is First Class Sales and Services. It's on uh, University Ave in Cedar Falls. He, uh, I went in there last weekend and the guy was just traded in his own personal collection and I got first dibs through it. And the guy basically treated me pretty freaking well. Gave me 
or charged me like a uh, PGA price on top of 10% off. We were in there like a couple days ago too and he gave Mallory a free, gave Mallory a Crash Bandicoot. The first one for free. I spent a lot of money. Yeah, it's a pretty good place. He judges his price based on the label and things like that. Um, one nice guy. So, like I was asking before, um, so like if I was to buy a game off your site and everything, when I buy it based off the picture, is that the actual game I'll get? Or do you just kind of ship out the better looking one? Or how's that work? So it's the picture you, you buy. That. That's really nice. sent me a picture of am I like free to pick through them or do you want me to wait till you get them up on your site there was a couple I was interested in we've got ducktails in the box we were discussing that today how we were just gonna get the boxes for your favorite hey. game and then you started to how did you say it though so it's just like I put back Jeopardy yesterday at Games XP for $5 in the box. Because it was in the box. Okay. Guys, guess what? I cleared it with 100 lives. And then do you just do PayPal type thing then, or how do you do that? Or do you do you meet people or? These are the Sorry guys. Try again. I'm gonna talk to you today. It bam. Both okay. Whoa, what's that? New mystery mushroom costume unlocked. What's that? What's that? What's that board? 
<laughs> oh, that looks terrible. Do it. I want to see what I. Pretend Mario challenge. Do you want to get time? There's a 10 Mario challenge. Fuck it, let's do it. What's up, Casey? So 13 will try to give him a $5 donation and accidentally gave him 500 How is something like that? He just kind of refunds it for PayPal, doesn't he? This is pretty cool. I like this. This is actually really cool. It's like a, a mini Mario game with everybody's creative levels. Because of uh, because of the Wii streaming, we'll have better internet soon. I uh, so when we moved to the house. I actually upped our internet plan to 50, 50 megs. Uh, so I'll be stream a lot better, and the quality won't be so shitty. Um, what I can do though is I can pause it, and I will uh, stop the video capture. I'll stop the video capture. We'll restart it up. And get everything going again fresh. Uh, so you create a level, and then there should be a, a stage ID, and you can uh, punch it in here. And if you give me a little bit to finish up this ten Mario challenge, I will. Uh, I'll hit yours up right after, okay? <laughs> Collection, Breath of Fires, Final Fantasies, Chrono Trigger. Aw, oh, dude, Ogre Battle. No flipping way. Secret of Evermore, Secret of Mana. Aw, oh, Mario RPG, Super Metroid. Castlevania. Star Trek. Dude. Hey, I have Goldeneye in the box. Ogre Battle 64 in the box. Man. 
You know, if you ever come across like just boxes and manuals, let me know because I would be very interested in buying just boxes for some of the games I have already. Dude, that's pretty impressive to complete all Squaresoft games, CIB for NES or Super NES, because RPG games for some reason are just outrageous right now. Yeah, I saw that second Metroid was sealed. That's uh, that's impressive. Was that like something you've had since it first came out, or did you actually stumble across that? picked up Aladdin for the Super Nintendo. I think I have Aladdin for the Super Nintendo. Dude, no flipping way. CIB Earthbound? I don't even... Oh man, I can't even... I don't really understand what I comprehend right now. I, uh, I like to add the manual. I think it's really cool. The fact that you have had something that stand the test of time. Uh, Super Nintendo. Aladdin. I think I picked it up last weekend. Almost positive I did. Oh, oh my god. Shit. Did you find it? Yeah, do that. I kind of want to take a closer look at them. Here in a second, Casey, okay? Thank you. 
Come on, load the tabs. Damn thing. Super Nintendo. Huh. Oh, it's listed underneath Disney's Aladdin. That's why, Casey. Really? Um, I'm kind of going to have a YouTube thing for that, or... Uh, what's your plan for it? Dash one remix raccoon. Yeah, no problem. Let me know. I'd be interested in uh, keeping up with them. That sounds really cool. You guys, it's pretty busy at the, the garage sale. I've never actually gone before, so this will be my first time going. Super greedy. Damn. What kind of consoles do you take there and sell? Do you just sell like the actual regular consoles? Or do you sell like the retrons and stuff like that? Is I better get there early for the good stuff. What? What? Peach wasn't even there. world see what happens. All right, Casey, what's your stage? NES.tips, you said, is where you're going to post it? I, uh, I'm gonna favor that, so I got it. Let's see, you posted another picture in here, too. What's this? Recent pickup album. Uh oh, this is gonna be bad for me. Whoa, is that a smoking guns? Or a blazing? 
What's that cowboy game you got there? Blazing. It's blazing something. So I will uh, I will be sending you a list here pretty soon of the games out of this that I want to I want to look at and kind of get a quote on from you. Um, gold medal challenge too. What's that? Or ninety two? What's that? Mario Bros. 3 is definitely a good way to pull people in. Where do you see the Little Mermaid? Um, do you ever just get like boxes, like without the games in them? You know, there's some of them I'd like to get for like my personal collection, but I don't want to have to rebuy an actual like in the box thing again. You ever do like trades? <laughs> like I'll trade you my loose copy towards your uh, CIB copy. <laughs> One I know for a fact that I'm very interested in is Super Metroid. I see you have an extra copy of Super Metroid there. Um, that is definitely what I'm interested in. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that would be another one I'd be interested in. I actually don't have that one. What is that gold medal challenge? I've never seen that before. It's just like a, an Olympics game, I see. And everything you have is like in really great condition too. I'm just, I don't know where you find stuff like this because I can't find stuff like this.
Yeah, it's an Olympics game, Olympic game. Fortunately, I have all three of them. Uh, <laughs> thankfully. Thankfully, I have all three of those DSs. Alright, here. Of course. Yeah, we do. Well, we don't have the... Yeah, we're missing one, but... I don't care for that one. I forgot, yeah, we don't have that... That second meet, second one you have. No, uh, no, I do not. I've decided that we have four DSs now that we did not need another one. And being the fact that I'm kind of in this big, like, uh, retro collection thing right now, I kind of want to focus my money on that. Uh, $200 could buy a lot of games, or one game. Alright, let's see here, Casey. B, B, 9, C, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, A, E, 2, C, C. Really? Where, uh, is there, like, a place around, where, I shouldn't say where, like, where is Games Done Quick in January? Yeah, some of the speed... I, I've met a few speedrunners. Um, I have a few choice words about some speedrunners. Uh, but uh, TMR and Sinister are great. Uh, they were great speedrunners. I love meeting them. Essentia and Bananas. Love getting to know them too. Yeah, dude, donating... Uh, Donating a sealed copy of Metroid would definitely get you some damn good exposure. speedruns are pretty good. Uh, 64. Um, the Mega Man one. I love watching Mega Man speedruns. Actually, Packy in here is really good at Mega Man. Oh, 
Ninja Guy Den is insane. I, uh, one of the competitors, uh, Fernando, uh, he did a sword, not a swordless Zelda run, but a green shirt, three heart run on second quest. Uh, that was pretty insane. Um, that, I couldn't believe he did that. The fact that, like, one, get, or getting one hit by a skeleton or something like that is all it would take to end that. God damn it. I can't make that jump anymore. I've not made a made an insane thing done yet. Um, I hit it back. I beat Battletoads. That was pretty fucking impressive on my end. At least for me. <laughs> 20, 22 hours, I think, is what we ended with. I beat some insane games in my conquest so far. Uh, I think people are really, really challenging me. Luigi's Castle. Play. Let's check this out. We did uh, Zombies Ain't My Neighbors. That was tough. I had never finished that game before. Took me a little while. Big-ass fireball. Oh! Fuck you, game! I... Okay, so everybody complains about Fester's Quest, but I loved it. I did not find it difficult one bit. There was one boss, and that was the shield boss that I struggled on. And that's because I couldn't get my hits around on him. But the game itself, I, I did a swear jar for that game, because everybody's like, oh, that game is going to take you forever, it sucks, you're not going to beat it. And that was like one of the, uh, probably one of the easiest games I had cleared on my quest. Yeah, yeah, so we did a swear jar, and I donated half of it to Operation Smile, and then the other half was put on a gift card and given away to, uh, a follower. The follower got paid back because Casey G was the one that won it. And she had just like recently donated a bunch of parts to me. I bought a bunch of games and donated them. She kind of got paid back for her good charity she did. I think basically here, yeah, you're not supposed to run. It's just a survival. Do your best to avoid the bullets. Yeah, and then you, then you turn around and spend the rest of the money on a birthday present for me. Uh, so I actually didn't show 
So yesterday on my lunch break, I went to uh, oh, hair. Uh, yesterday I went to Games XP in the corner and I bought a couple games. Uh, I picked up Home Alone Two. I picked up Skater Die Two. Um, Baseball Stars. This one I've never seen before. Cartoon Workshop. Never seen it. Uh, <laughs> fighting Golf. And a game I've been looking for a while, Dracula's Curse. Uh, probably one of the best, not, I shouldn't say the best, but the, the best uh, Castlevania game on the NES. And then I talked... <clears throat> I talked him down on a complete in the box Super Godzilla. So I was pretty excited about this. Yeah, Dracula's Curse is probably the best one on the NES. Uh, in my opinion, the best Castlevania game ever would have to be uh, the first Castlevania game on the 64. Uh, I love that one. Or uh, the second one, the 64, was pretty damn good too. The one where you had to change into the werewolf. And I like that one because you got to play different characters too. Like it, you didn't, you weren't stuck as him. You could, if you beat it, then you got to be somebody else. This one's gonna take a while. Oh, no. It looks fun. So I missed out on the GameCube. Hey, you open a physical store, you let me know. Um, that'd be really cool. I'd definitely come down and help support you. I'm, I'm all about supporting the uh, the little man and opening stuff like this because we need it around here. Uh, there's not a lot of places like that around in Iowa. If you ever have any tournaments or anything too, let me know. I would uh I, I kinda wanna get involved in that. Yep, that's the smartest thing to do. Thank you. 
Yeah, I did, and it had the bubble on the label. Like, not like in, under the sticker, but like the plastic over the label. Um, I kind of, I don't know, I wish they would like take an actual picture of the label and put it on the box instead of just printing the cover art. And um, some of their stuff is incredibly overpriced. Nice. I would have said tough shit. Um, you had it marked at that, I'm gonna buy it for that. I guess she's, I mean, I guess she's still making profit off it. It's great. Uh, I actually plan on wearing it tomorrow. This one sounds interesting. Emily made it. really cute.
one case he got me for my birthday is kind of like a window pane. Or not window pane, but like a glass pane. And uh, it's really cool. I've, been, I've seen it in Hot Topic a couple times. They never actually had my size. I haven't had a problem yet here. Where's my start failing? Oh, let's try this again. Which one did you get? I really like the Counter Strike one you got. Mega Man one that says, uh, running, running and gunning since, uh, 1988, or 89, or 87.
me some He-Man. a lot of fun. Indiana Jones mouse one's pretty good. Yeah, I will. Like I said, later tonight, uh, before I go to bed, I will, uh, I'll get you a list of the ones I, I'm interested in. Love the business card, too, by the way. So I don't know if you do this yourself, but I do like I like the protection for my games, and RetroProtection.com uh, is a really good site. Uh, a buddy of mine, JD Lau, uh, introduced me to him, and very reasonable price. Uh, the the plastic bags. Oh, you have your own. Oh, you do. Nice. Yeah, 
I just got them today, and I'm going to start inventorying my stuff and getting them all put in little nice baggies and stuff, and I, mean, I think I put out $100, and I bought uh, 1,000 NES bags, I bought 500 or 100 manual bags, I bought 100 Super Nintendo manual bags, I bought 500 baggies from Super Nintendo games, I bought a bunch of boxes, I bought Virtual Boy boxes from Virtual Games I have, I mean, I bought a bunch of stuff. Um, I bought a plastic box for my Mario paint. Um, I mean, I just, I bought a bunch of stuff and it was very cheap. Nice. Yeah, I've been buying them all from Amazon and they're like $10 for, I think it was 10 for 10 or something like that. Um, but they take so long to get here that I think I'll end up buying these, buying from that guy from now on. Uh, really great. Um, I'm gonna take a quick break. Um, I'm not gonna close or anything. Dan, yeah, yeah, Dan's in the car. Uh, I'm gonna get some drink, run to the restroom, and I think I'm gonna switch games. Uh, my pad's dying right now, uh, so when I come back, uh, don't go. I'm gonna quit the stream, but don't go anywhere. When I come back, I'm gonna try to finish up Secret of Evermore. Uh, so stay tuned, guys. I'll be right back.